They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking for Allen. He's got him. They'll run. This is Khalil Herbert. And space tough to come by there as he'll give maybe a yard. They did pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience. All got the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he fires one, but in his defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Now it's Lockett. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. The drive will start with an option going left. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield. More the man in motion. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Back to throw now on first down. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he'll take it down shy of the 45. They are open space. I think they expect to get more out of the play, don't you? And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the back. Being gone, makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm is going forward. Incomplete pass. Fair Starting on the ground with Herbert. That is scratch out only about a yard up to the... And they hold him to just a yard. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And he'll push forward for a couple to the down for a win in the defense's column. Out of the gun now on third down. Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Quadray Diggs. And the return this time. Now Herbert to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that is incomplete. Wow, they got to up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And he is going to be stopped up at the line of scrimmage. It's on third down. Back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that'll wind up moving. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this one too low. Offense is moving to the second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this one he incomplete. I oh, couldn't hang it. Oh, in the air, never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Eluding the pressure right. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And it's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second. And from the 29, here's second and three. They'll go again with Herbert. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And able to get this one across the ends out there, a jumbo package look. Herbert powering up the middle. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle Terror. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll throw They should him. now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And now the third down throw incomplete. Each and every play for his team, that might be throwing off his accuracy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they'll have it in the Just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And it's caught. Touchdown. D.J. Moore with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bears get a bit closer. 
So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles. And more the motion man right. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. It's kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the foul. And it's on EA Sports. They'll set up a throw. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's They'll come out throwing here on first down. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. Call it again. Put your best cover guy on him, and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. On first and 10, it's Herbert. Oh, he's got some breathing. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets in. Action of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. And that one blown up quickly. And he's got team. They'll set up to throw. That is caught by Herbert. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Able to find the open man. Now back to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Reek Woolen. And the Seahawks are going to have it here. Well, this was a really nice display, Charles, of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete performance. And so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute, both sides of the ball. You go back in the locker room and you just savor it, right? Because that's what football's all about, a true team game.